the arena ones that max out all four stats. Were they going to make Ancient and Max Potions do what they were supposed to? Probably never. Okay. Well, I will go in without those birds then. Alright. That's our set. Let's see how well I do with Lance against these two. Should be interesting. You're slowly regaining your interest on playing Rise again? That's good, Biggie. I know a lot of folks blazed through, had their fill for the first little while. I hadn't really thought about much about the prison birds, to be honest with you. To me, the trade-off was like, you don't get to collect these birds, but you also are going to be stuck in the arena with the same monster the whole time, so... <laughs> it's okay, Biggie, to each their own. Whew! I barely got that mute off there. A little scary. Have you made pizza, Dongo? I've not, no. Am I supposed to make that in real life, or is that an actual thing in the game? I already feel like this will be a slightly challenging quest for me, Vio, but I'll still avoid the bird. Really hate the arena quest, not in the arena. Already so few arena quests. Yeah, that's true. I think, I hope they'll add more of both. I like the variety. It doesn't bother me. Do I have a switch skill active? I don't know if I do. I might not. This is gonna be terrifying. <laughs> Hang on. Excuse me, sorry. Oh, that's nice, Biggie. I feel like you missed a lot of things to rush to the end game, so you've made a new character starting fresh all over again. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, did the stream, did the, did the stream freeze? I'm sorry. It seems to happen like once per stream right now. I don't know what's going on with that. I'll have to catch one of those lives sometime so I see what it like sounds like or looks like. Let me put a marker in the VOD so I can look and see if that's in there. Okay. I'm here to see what switch kill I have. <laughs> hey, Karada. Do I know what a duvet is? Yes or no? It's a type of blanket? I, I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what kind of blanket. <laughs> Happy birthday, Karada. <laughs> Enjoy your lurk. Okay, we have Anchor Rage or Spiral Thrust. We're gonna use Spiral Thrust. We're gonna use Dash Attack. We're gonna use Instant Block. Okay, we're good. Who told you? I don't know. A little bird. A little bird, Karada. The duvet told me. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's tomorrow? Oh, shoot! <laughs> Happy early birthday, then. I apologize, it's early. 
Oh, I brought my cats in. We gotta restart this quest. Hang on. There's too much going on. My poor brain. Let's try that again from the top. Coffee's got kicking. Okay. How do we want to do this with Lance? Cheers to you guys. I didn't even pay attention to the damage vial. I think it's going to be less a problem with the damage. I think the damage will be fine. And I think it's more going to be the... These two both are really aggressive, difficult to deal with monsters with a slower weapon like Lance. How do you deal with two of them at the same time? We'll have to sheath a lot and run around, I think. Hi, Parsec. I hope you've had a good day. Tough matchup. I'm excited to do it tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, it should be tough. I haven't fought either of these guys in a little while. About to jump into the GG Strive beta. I don't know what that is. Be mostly lurking. Well, enjoy checking out a new thing. I still think I want to go for Magnamalo first. It's a little boss. Oh, guilty gear strive. Got it. Right, there's a parry at the beginning of that. I forgot. Ooh, hey. Let's get out of here if we can. Holy crap, this is so rough. Knowledge about the ACs? What are ACs? Not familiar with the acronym, sure. Air conditioners. Okay, got it. <laughs> yes, I'm familiar with that acronym now that I think about it. I am a little familiar with different types of air conditioning, yeah. Just a little. And that I've tried a couple different types over the last couple of years. <laughs> when power guarding, do multiple monster attacks same drain the same as the single one? Uh no, they'll both hit your guard. This is not good. The fence gates use one quest. I don't use. That's part of why I think I've used the spirit bird. Is I don't use fence gates at all. I relish in this kind of particular suffering. I think we might have to I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna see this one this attempt through to the end of a triple, but I think we might have to try something else to warm up. This is maybe a bit much for my brain. I don't know if y'all I don't know if y'all ever feel like that about Monster Hunter. Sometimes the game just moves like a thousand miles faster than your brain can keep up with. That is currently how this quest feels. Do you want a weapon repick? No, not at all. This should be a good challenge.
I've read that leaving an inverter one, inverter one turned on could be more cost efficient than turning it off after like 89 hours of use. I don't know anything about that. Sorry, I have no insight to, show, to show you, share with you on that. I'm sure for some units there is a point of like turning it on and off is less efficient because it's gonna have to work harder to try and get back to that same temperature than just holding it, but I wouldn't know much about that. Other people in chat might, it sounds like. Get Gosserog, yeah. use Sonic Bombs against, bombs against Nargakuga. Um, if he's hopping through the air when he's not enraged, you can use them to stun him out of the air. It's hard, it's hard to time. It's probably easier to time in this game, but like if he's mid-pounce and unenraged, it will stun him and probably enrage him. Also works when he enters the Prowler stance. Ah, I didn't know that. Oh, that's a multi-hit. Good thing we're blocking it. Ooh, I'm thankful for every point of guard we have, which is just guard two. Very thankful for the two points of guard. Oh, I couldn't turn it around. That move is so versatile. I'm excited. This is my first real quest with that, getting to use that move, that new switch skill for Lance. It feels really cool. Oh gosh, so cool. say one thing about that move? Sure, it's got a parry at the beginning of it, which I need to practice. But I'm happy just hitting it. To, I'm just happy just using it to move around, too. Oh god, Goss is such a big dude. Miss anyone coming in? Welcome, like Mad Cow, or Dog Crotch. Welcome to you guys. They're both tired out. Come on, got it. Get out of there. Woo. After the second press, it has two types of follow-ups: one behind you, like on Land Spring, and one up in front. Did you press A for the second follow-up there? I forget. I know I practiced it in the training room, but I forget it now. Yeah. No. Actually, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so, what are the inputs for the follow ups? Oh, this time that. No! 
the stick for the second one. I'm gonna have to try it out here before we go back down. Because I don't remember how to use it. Just tapping the stick? That's not it. I mean, there's the two moves there. Yeah, there's an X. I think there's also an X and A. Rip and hello. Hello, Digiartist. Welcome to you. Hmm. That's not what I'm asking about, Dog Crotchel. After the- I know about the- I know you can dash forward and you can do it twice, but there's moves. There are two different moves you can do after it. One of them is an X we just did, but there's another follow-up, I think, and I can't remember it. Not asking about the second- the second dash, unfortunately. But it's neat that you can only do- you can do only one of them if you want. Okay, more coffee. No, you're good, you're good. Ah. Heavy poke, charge slap, turn around X. Okay, let me try it again. X and back. Thank you, Bio. That's the wrong. I never want to do that one. <laughs> Good thing we're not in the middle of a quest or anything. <laughs> Training room, top of the arena. Who cares? Okay, so you can do a charge slap right after it. One sec. We'll go back in in a second. Go forward, go back, turn around X. Yeah, okay, there we go. I think the strongest is the regular X. The regular X follow-up is really strong for what I know. They die at the same time for you? You're already done? Dude, no way. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, this, this quest is pushing my brain a bit. <laughs> I'm Yavi. Welcome, welcome. That move is really hype. Holy crap. It's like an instant parry. If you miss the parry, you can still get hit, but holy crap. So nice. Let's get out of here and heal. What weapon did you use, Marks? It sounds like you did a good job. Ow! My brain is not... <laughs> does not feel like it needs to be where it needs to be for this quest currently, but we're gonna keep struggling out. You are no longer in pain. Okay, I'm glad you have solved your duvet troubles, uh, Karada. I just want to know what weapon, Marks, that's all. I said duvet, not bidet, right? Nice, that sounds cool, Marks. God. 
If I said bidet, then that's the wrong word. Okay, I'm glad I said duvet. Those are not the same thing. No, too slow to get out. Those two points in guard are really helping. They're the only reason I'm still alive. Like, to be honest with you, I won't be happy with this clear either way if we manage to get this for some reason, which I kind of doubt. Because this is just me getting smacked around. <laughs> No! Wait, we're good. We're good. Don't be panic. Get him. Dang it. I'm trying to use it to get out of get out of the dodge some of the time, and it's just too slow. I hit something so cool and you just screwed up. And that's Magnamalo done. So that's something. Now it's just Goss. That's interesting. <laughs> if I just keep getting one or two sharpens in, it'll work eventually, right? <laughs> yeah, this is fun, Marks. Darn it, I was trying to do a power guard there. I still need some- I need a lot of practice with Lance. I feel like- you know how the other day I felt like I hadn't played Insect Wave in like years? I feel like I haven't played Lance in like years. I can't remember with my current Switch skill setup like how to get to power guard and stuff. I'm trying to get fancy with that parry now. I should not do that. I should finish the quest. Oh. <laughs> Probably your least news weapon now. It's one of them, Basil. Yeah. And I don't like that because I really like Lance. I just haven't played it much. Hey, Bio. Hope the rest of your stream was good earlier. Nope, too early on the guard. I love how you how easy you can poke Goss's face. Okay, the parry's right at the beginning of that. I need to practice that more. Hunts were good. How are your hunts? This is my first hunt of the night, and my brain is having a hard time. 
is having a hard time thinking through Lance versus Magnamalo and Goss. Honestly, having a hard time with it. Dude, Lance is so mobile in 5th gen. It's hard. I need that wire bug to get out of there. And the ice bite kept it from me. Well, last card. I hope I can finish this out. I would be bummed at this point if we didn't clear it. Like, this is not a smooth clear, but I would appreciate a clear all the same. Diablo Slance looks cool. It's still our low rank one. This is a low rank set for a low rank event. But it's a nice Lance. Crazy raw and, and green for low rank. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> yep, I feel like I haven't played Lance in a million years right now. It's rough. <laughs> I messed up the controls left and right. And we have new things with that switch skill and everything. Magnamalo corpse went away. Too, too late. It's really, I gotta practice the timing on that. It's rough that this is my first quest for it. <laughs> this is gonna be a big slam. play more Lance, man. That was... That was rough. <laughs> there you go. That's a warm-up of some sort. My brain feels more awake. <sighs> we didn't use the Spirit Bird, either. I don't know how I... Like, if I like having the spear bird or not in the arenas. I don't know if it's bothered me or not. At least you cleared it. That's how I feel bad. So at least we cleared it. Hey, Memnock. Hey, Wander Omega. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Hi, Game God. GG, thanks. We just cleared the low rank event. <laughs> My brain's moving a little slow tonight. I've said that a lot of times now, but...
That's how it be. Hey, we got a Magnum Olive Plate for our troubles. That's nice. Hope we learned something with Horn from thing from earlier. Glad to help out. It was nice seeing you use it in practice, Biodrone. We got a ticket of some sort. And we unlocked a title. I'll have to do some Horn tonight. But I think I want to try and do some high rank Lance for a little bit. I don't have a high rank Lance set yet, but I'd like to. Hello, Shadow Childs. Except Shadow Child RS. I'm assuming it's Shadow Childs. Or at least Shadow Child. How's your night going? It's going okay so far. We just warmed up with the new event, and it was tough. Hey, Squirt, we've got ourselves a little quest that'll determine who's the strongest hunter. My Zenny's on you, but we'll see. All you gotta do is go and smack around the Gosserog and Magnamalo in the arena, and these titles are yours. Think you're up to it? Well, go get to it. Bah from Fugan. Let's check out the titles. They might, I think I'll probably have a couple titles that I've unlocked. Oh man, Skirmish, world, world Gone Mad, Warring Lands, Warrior, Dreadnought, Haggard Warrior, Bold Hero, Exemplary, One Clean Cut, Spearheader, Zenogre, Land, Rathi, and Kazu. I think all, I think probably Spearheader on down, that might be from that quest. Maybe. New event is a nice challenge when you gear down. Do you mean just a low rank gear or even further fish kebab? It is Shadow Child. Our rest was for RuneScape. I got you. No worries. Well, welcome, Shadow Child. Nice to meet you. Or at least nice to have you here tonight. Whirlwind, the Golem Bee. Value sealed da Dauntless. Dauntless. <laughs> Archdemon, Mrs. Rainbow Bug. Rodeo, Fleet, President, Cute, Rare, Hope, Boy, Agent, Acrobatic, Cocky, Chaos, Army. Oh my goodness, we've unlocked a lot. Adventure, popular, mining master, all out, dude. Sorta. Fate, nearly. <laughs> Flower, wee. These are good. Vermilion, waste, half. Super mushroom walker brand. And that's all the new ones, I think, for now. So many. Where's the coffee title? Mrs. Dauntless. Wee. I'm gonna have to, have to come up with some new some new titles for myself sometime soon. Down to low rank Magnamalo on upgraded armor with Magnamalo weapons and soul. Nice, that sounds like fun. This was low rank stuff too, so I feel good about that as well. It felt like a good challenge. They both lasted a little while. That felt like how I like my mom. Well, okay, I should stipulate. That felt really sloppy on the Lance part. I felt like I was flubbing some of the controls because I have a new switch skill that I'm still learning to use and it felt kind of rough. But in terms of how the monsters were hitting and how long the quest took, that felt about how I like multi-monster arena quests to take if I haven't practiced them where I really had to scrape by with a clear and they got me a lot and it was just good fun. Cool, I like that quest. Thank you, Capcom. Thank you, Monster Hunter team, for the event. Okay. I want to play more Lance. What do we need? Rathalos. We could do a Rathalos with Lance. Why don't we do... Let's start small. Let's do an Arzuros with Lance. <laughs> okay. And to do that, let's go ahead and let's look into making a... A high rank Lance set. I don't have one yet. Oh, I have a Lance work in progress. What, ha what does it have? It has Bludgeoner, Guard 3, Speed Sharpening. That's a pretty good starting place. Oh, right, it's got this lance. I like this lance. We can probably do better than this now, but this should be fine for Arzuros. Oh, yeah. You know what? Before I eat, I need to go to the training room and think for a minute. My brain needs some time. Arzuros can be a bit rough because of that triple paw always tosses you around. Good. I, I've been having a hard time with Arzuros recently, too. So hopefully Lance will, will teach me some things against him. What we're doing in here is I want to practice that counter. Oh, this is the wrong switch skill. Hang on. Hang on. Enjoy, Uchi. Yeah. 
That last hit does like 100 damage. That X follow-up, huge damage. Here, we go ahead and we turn on the, the damage numbers. Whoops, I went down to the bottom of the list. That last attack does more than probably almost any other lance attack. Sorry, I'll not try to backseat lance, but I will say that I don't think you need to get the counter every time. No, you can just use it to get around. Let me see if if you don't get the counter. Is it still huge damage? It's still huge damage. It's like 20 more damage if you hit the, if you hit the parry. Huge. Imagine getting owned in the training room. That's where our first card took place, Game God. We have a history of getting owned in the training room. Okay, let me see if it boosts the charge hit very much. Hard to tell if I hit the feet, hang on. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Whoops. Have you tried much Gunlance? If so, have you liked it? It was one of the weapons that gave me a really hard time at first dilated. I was really used to old Gunlance, and so new Gunlance kind of threw me off at first, to be honest with you, but I've since gotten used to it, and I like it pretty well. It's pretty hype in this game. To me, it feels like it's more varied to play than World's design for Gunlance was, like, in terms of how it incentivizes different types of shelling for all three shell types. I think it does a better job of making you use all three, and giving you openings to use all three. It's really hard to get this properly. Whatever. I don't give a- <laughs> I don't really care that much. Hang on. The last thing I just want to see is if the turnaround does really good damage or not. turnaround is not as much damage as the X hit. The X hit is quite a bit. Anyways, hard to hit this on this guy. Let's go ahead and hunt something. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with Gunlance. I've played a lot more Gunlance than Lance. Which I think part of was just because Gunlance... Whew, Gunlance is so different in this game from the old games. Especially, I mean, all the aerial options added in this game are... Almost just... There's there's so many options added just from aerial jumps and stuff like that. Much less with Flash Dash and everything. There's just there's so much going on with Gunlance in this game. It's really, really complex. <laughs> Okay. I'm happy we get a chance to use this lance. Makes me happy. Also, let me take a look. What what do we have on the set? Okay, we have bludgeoner three, guard three, and speed sharpening three. Can we make guard decorations yet? Probably not. But let's take a look. What'd you learn, Vio? What did you learn today? Nope, no guard decos yet. Hammer if you do a charge attack in air, chains into the same tier of charge attack when you press X following it, except for level 3. Does level 3 do a golf swing? I'll try that out in a bit. Right now I want to do Arzuros. Oh wait, there is no Arzuros quest, I forgot. But he's in this expedition, so we should be okay.
Level three does the, in yellow, level three does the strong upswing, same as the final spin attack. Got it. When you do the slap, you only have to hold one of the two buttons to charge. I don't know, oh, wait. Oh, I didn't know that, Dog Crotchel. That's good to know. Okay, so you press X to initiate the charge, and then you just hold one of them. You don't have to press your, you don't have to glom your thumb all over both of them. I didn't know that, Dog Crotchel. I appreciate you letting me know. That's good to know, that's really nice tech. I appreciate that tech quite a bit. I need to get my buddies back with me. It's life-changing? That is pretty life-changing. Not only that, but there's a delay. Like, I can press X and A, and then... Okay, there's a bit of a... I mean, like, you have a you have a window there, but you can press X and A, and then start holding one of them. Oops. Okay, the window isn't very long. Okay, yeah, the window is not very long, but you can press X and A, and then hold just one of the buttons afterwards. That's huge. This is huge news. Huge news. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. That's awesome, Dog Crotchel. I like learning things from y'all in chat so much. Oh. Two things. Bye. You. Go away. Oh. I missed that alert. Andromedon, thanks for the follow. Hi. I hope you are enjoying the stream so far. Okay, Lance practice. Ooh, that's huge. So nice. As if 5th gen Lance, like, had, like, it's like, oh man, I think 5th gen Lance could really use some help on the mobility front. We gotta help that thing out. Hey, Katnius, how's my rise journey so far? It's been slow and gradual, Cat. I've been trying to learn all the different weapons as much as I can, and it's been taking me quite a while. I'm still learning lots. We just learned something about Lance just now, or the new charge attack. Once you start it, you can just hold down one of the buttons. You don't have to glom your hand all over both X and A. It's nice. But rise, been, rise has been really fun. How about you, Cat? I know you've done some RTA, but outside of that, <laughs> how have you been enjoying the game? Or inside of that, honestly. We are only in 6-star hub. I still have yet to get to 7-star or fight any of the Elder Dragons at the end of the game. So we've got lots of, lots of game to go still. Collecting lots of gear, being real slow. How do you like the fast-paced combat of Rise? I think there's always going to be part of me, Miyabi, that feels at home with the slower, older-school stuff. Even if it takes me a minute to readjust to it going back, I think there's always going to be a part of me that that's just like my home. But at the same point, I really enjoy getting better at this, because I don't think this comes... I don't know if the old stuff comes naturally to me either, but I've put enough time into it where like I feel a little more comfortable with the old style of combat. So it's satisfying to get better at this new stuff, and I think that... When you do get better at it, there's a lot of satisfaction to be had about really jamming on a monster real fast and reacting to all these things so quickly, nailing some fast inputs and dodges and everything. Just fun. It's a different appeal, slightly. Yep, it feels good in this game, Lance. It doesn't feel like you totally outpaced the monster. Whoops. 
that was something I was talking about through most of World, is like up until like towards the end of Iceborne, it felt like you just outclassed most monsters with like options and designs with how fast your combat was, how fast your options were as the player. Even in low rank of this game, it feels like they finally gave the monsters a lot more tools to punish the player and their new movement options, including the wire bug and such, which I think is a really good way to design in the game. It's impressive they were able to do that. Rise is nice. I haven't played much for the past two weeks to do work. Glad you're having fun. Yeah, I get that. Life's busy. I'm about to have a couple weeks where I can't play too. I'm moving in a little bit. That shouldn't be the case. That should not be the case, Miyabi. It should be getting shock trapped just fine. Pitfall traps will break sometimes if it's enraged, I think. I'm glad you like Rise. Cat nails. I'm looking forward to seeing people... I, I don't know if you're going to be doing more RTA or not, but I'm looking forward to, pe to people doing more RTA. It's just a really neat way of playing Monster Hunter. I want to see more people enjoy that. Oh, okay, so you got to be pretty accurate with that. Whoa! <laughs> not like that. Oh, dude, the combo. Aw, oh, that would have been sick if he hit that, honestly. <laughs> the upswing into the butt back up. There's something like that's something about fifth generation Lance. You've got like, especially now with Spiral Thrust, at any given time I have regular counters, power guards, the adept block, just blocking, and now that spiral thrust parry as well. As well as guard event. Like I just have so many different ways of dealing with every situation the monster throws at me. With Lance, it's all about figuring out what works best for the different monsters' movesets. Like what puts me in a better position to respond after I've dealt with that guard. If I've committed to something beforehand, what are my options in the middle of a combo or right after a combo to take care of it? So neat. It means that Evade Lance is like basically dead because you have so many guard options, but it's really fun all the same. It's a fun appeal. Whoop. Go, go, Lance, go, go, Lance, go. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. the chugging fish mid quest that is quite the quote i might crystal can i quote that i like the visual of chugging fish all right give me a second oh screw up the timing there for the hold One sec. I don't want to miss that quote. Apologies. Quote 70. No. 
Oh shoot! I didn't realize that if you actually hit the ground, you can't keep wire falling. You have to wire fall when you're in the air. It did indeed happen. What did you just come back to? Just a nice quote. That's all, Quill. How you doing? I wish that had staggered really badly. Whoops. <laughs> A little too cocky on that parry timing. I don't know, Sir Chef. What are you gonna do without that iron emote? I know Pro Cow's missing iron a lot. Pretty good with the instant block. We're getting there. I gotta find. I gotta learn the timing on it for more moves. But it's nice as an option. I. It's weird because it messes with your combos super hard, where you can't guard very quickly. You can't get into your regular counter or your power guard very quickly because of it. So it messes with those, but at the same time, you don't have to have a whole lot of guard on your set, and you can instant guard a lot of moves, so it's super high value. I just, I don't know. I'm still feeling out if I like having that in my kit or not. It's one of those things where it messes with the flow of Lance a little bit in a way where I'm not sure if I want to keep it there forever. But I also really, it's one of those pieces of gen fan service that super speaks to me, because I played tons of Adept Lance. It was one of the main ways I enjoyed Gen and Gen U towards the end of my time with them. So, like, there's the whole Valor Longsword finisher. Like, I don't have any affinity for that, but, man, do I have some affinity for the freaking Adept block. Actually, I need braces. Hang on here. Hang on, you two. Hang on. Dilated. There's something special to me about that. <laughs> didn't think the skills you learned from Adduck would carry over, so you didn't want to invest. I just really liked how if you invested into, like, evade with... If you invested into evade on your sets, and then you also had Adduck, you basically had guard and evade lance built into one. It was super comfy. Let's see, what are some styles I played a lot of? I played a lot of Aerial Longsword when I first got into Generations. That was like the first style that helped me understand Monster Hunter. It was like simple enough for like, do you have spirit levels? No? Okay, then bounce on the monster. Do you have a spirit level? Okay, bounce on the monster and get get rid, get rid of your spirit level. Is the monster down? Okay, spam spirit attacks. Like that was just, that was easy enough for me to get. Um, I played a lot of Aerial Charge Blade. I played some Adept Light Bowgun. I played some Adept Lance. I played... Some kind of gun lance and some kind of horn. I don't really remember how. But like, I tried some. I tried some of the different weapons, but really, I think the thing I spent the most time with were longsword, charge blade, and lance. What was Kezu like in Freemy Night? Dumpy. <laughs> Very slow. He screamed a lot. Uh, he did a lot of damage. He could paralyze you pretty easily. He had roar combos, I think. If you were like close enough to him, he could roar you and then do an AOE around you. It was rough. It's just tough. He was a lot of folks' first walls in, in, in the earlier games. And that tradition holds true to this game, which feels kind of nice, doesn't it? Okay, what was that Ars Rose Brace for? That was for the Barbaric Hammer. The Barbaric Hammer spelled with a bear. <laughs> Where's the Barbaric Hammer? Where is it? What the heck? Oh wait, I need do I need the I need the base. Oh no. 
Oh no, I need low rank ones. Gosh darn it. I didn't do my, do my due diligence of putting in the proper wishlist items. The barbaric hammer. That's not really going to be super relevant, but I still want to collect it. Oh well. He said Freeman Knight, not Rise. I answered about Freeman Knight too. It is Dog Crotch. In this game, it's a little better, but in Freeman Knight, it was really rough. Heard Nargakuga was quite a fight back in Freeman Knight. I think it's still pretty difficult. Its hitboxes were pretty gnarly in terms of its wing swipes were a lot were like a lot bigger than they look, and its tail slam was enormous. Um, it does leave itself open, so once you get used to it, it's easy to kind of exploit some of those openings, but I still think he applies enough pressure in Freeman Knight with those hitboxes and with his speed that it's still a pretty tough fight at first. I like it. Ty like, when you compare him and Tigrex, he, Nargakuga is like just a tiny touch on the soft side once you learn him, whereas Tigrex is always a little bit on the hard side, even once you learn him, I think. So they make a good pairing. Yeah, that's a good way to put it, Bio. Okay, I got you, Aeon. Cheers. You said cap for the end of your sentence. No, you said it. I got you. I still responded. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we're not going to do low rank, low rank Ars Roast right now. What should we do next? Let's see. Yeah, dun, dun, dun. Na, 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 na. Well, we're going to jump into the deep end here. Look through Lance and decide some things to make. I want to make this upgrade in Mizutsune Lance. Thankfully, I have the parts. That's nice. Um, I don't feel super strongly about the Tetranodon Lance. It looks pretty strong, actually, with that green and everything. Might be when, when you compare it. I don't know, man. I mean, this will probably scale better at the end of the game, but right now, this would be a stronger option for us with Bludgeoner. Nice, Marts. I got one last night. <gasps> Babble Spear 2. Heck yeah. What's this? This is the Venom Lance. What is this? That's a real old design, I think. We might make that. Just for old time's sake. Hmm. <laughs> Nargakuga. The upgrade's pretty straightforward. Been lurking the last few days. You've been enjoying the streams and how differently you approach the game compared to what you see in most other streams? Thanks. That's kind of you to say. I hope you've... I, I mean, you said you enjoyed it, so thanks. I, I hope you've enjoyed the last couple nights. I hope you've had a nice nice night tonight. Okay, so there's another Akhnasom upgrade, but we can't see it yet, so we'll make do with this one. We're going to take on Baryoth with this Lance. Raw Lance might do better for us, but... Meh. So many things to collect. Would this do better for us? 190 with 17 versus 150 with 19. Not probably. Not probably not. Kadachi Lance got a new design. Yep, they gave new designs to just a couple world weapons, and this is one of them. There's like a Puki Puki Gun Lance that's new in this game. It's kind of cool. The Tusk Lance. So many things to collect. Pookie Pookie, I mean, all of the, actually, a lot of the world weapon ones flip flop for like the Pookie ones were iron ones in world and they flipped them over to bone for a lot of them, but some of them got unique new designs, which is pretty neat. Oh, dude, look at that spiral slash. So cool. So cool. The Kulu Skewer. <laughs> Agnesom will be better later. That's exciting. So many shockers needed. Holy. Oh, wait. Oh no, I overrode it. My wish list is full. Whoops. Well, we better get to work. Charm do we have on this? We 
We have so many slots. Holy crap. Wow. So many slots. Like how you went all in on Lance tonight? Whenever I do a hunt like that and I'm like, damn, I suck with this weapon, it's it's time for me to it's time for me to practice. How many of these do I have? I have two of them. Hey, Fog. Welcome to you. I've been meaning to slot in this Carver skill into more of our sets, just as a comfy skill. Just finished watching the new season of Castlevania. Did you do the whole thing? That's crazy. This looks like a good set to me for this point in the game, I think, for Lance. Let me go ahead and save this over our current one. Um. Okay. Right, it's the freaking Bullfongo helm. I forgot about that. Mm, I think I like how we had it, actually. sounds relaxing fog nice job <laughs> nice job binging through <laughs> i haven't watched tv in a really long time it was okay like the first two seasons more but still fun to watch good i have been pleasantly surprised to hear from folks that they like that series did you know that when you knock Zenogre over you can yoink his bugs off his back yeah i haven't done that in this game yet but i know about that from the other games that's been a thing since he, since he came out you used to have to sheath and pull out your bug net and then use your bug net on him. Mm, I wouldn't say it would fight differently depending on the weapon you're using, the obby, but it will use different moves depending on how far away you're standing. So if you're using a gunner weapon, he might use different moves than if you're up close with like dual bites or something. I don't think there's any monster AI that I know of that specifically goes, oh, they're using Lance, I'm going to use these moves. It's more of a distance to the monster kind of thing. That's how most moves are decided by monsters, is like where you're standing around them. That would be interesting, though. Mm -hmm. Seeing a monster AI that goes, hey, I'm going to do this move specifically because I know this user is using Greatsword and they're going to be fishing for charges. I'm going to screw him up with this, with this combo. That is a difficulty design direction they could go in. I don't think it would work across the board, but that would be interesting if there was like one particularly intelligent monster. Say a, uh, a particularly surly one-eyed raven that like could do that for you. Oh, I forgot my buddies again. Oh well. There's a Rajang. Whatever. I'm not going to keep trying Rajang if he's going to keep running away. Hey, Skiffy. Hey, Marts. You know that, Raven? Me too, Marts.
Oh, that was gonna be a counter moment there. Sorry, Twitch is giving you issues, Skiffy, if you can hear me. We should break those arms. He won't reach us? Yeah. This is an interesting, this is an interesting matchup. I like this matchup on Baron. Hard to get- I need to probably in do my inputs a little slower for that move. So I can actually control the directions I'm going. You mean that one, Vio? The quick one? That's the one that bothers me the most, is the quick forward counts. The one that's far away at least has good proper telegraphing. Oof! Eh, if I could turn the ads off, I would, Skiffy, but I can't turn them off. Something I could do about ads is I could run them when I'm like using the bathroom or when we're doing a weapon raffle in the middle of the stream so that when you come in you wouldn't get an ad, but I don't know. I kind of like just not messing with it and letting Twitch do its default thing. So I can be like, that's the Twitch default, I'm sorry. How's it going? It's going okay, Dragon James. It's good to see you. How you been? Tonight we are practicing some Lance because I felt lackluster with Lance at the beginning of the stream tonight. So we're practicing. Whenever it's been too long since I've last used a weapon, I sometimes feel a little bit foreign to it. I want to practice it a bit. Oh, I don't think I gave you guys beans. Let me give you guys beans. There you go. Try for partner. Funny you ask that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I tried for partner a couple times. Each time they basically said, like, hey, you're at the point where we're just going to start looking at your channel, but you're not at the point where we're going to give you partner yet. I actually applied most recently this last week. I wanted to try one more time before I moved. We'll probably just have to wait a little while longer. There's a certain distance where that will just miss you. It's bizarre. It's okay, Basil. I'm not really like... I w it would be nice whenever we get it. It's not the end of the world if we don't right now. It's okay.
Thanks for the summon camp materials, Perion. And we're off. This is a really fun matchup for Lance. I finally found a way to enjoy Baryoth. <laughs> Just use the most counter-based weapon with all the guard techniques, and then you're good. Well, you're better. I don't know if I'm gonna say good yet, but you're better. <laughs> Oops. Oh, it hit, good. So prox offensive guard. Oof. Okay, we're good. <laughs> to hop that. <laughs> he does that back-to-back -back a lot. I didn't notice until just now. Well, we understand that you, you don't want to watch ads, Miyabi. Sometimes you'll have to watch ads. Again. That's just how life is. On Twitch, it really doesn't matter. I don't care if you block ads on Twitch. Streamers really don't get much of a cut of that at all. On YouTube, it really does influence something. We're like, obviously not, not as much anymore, really because ad rates have gone so down on, on YouTube that really, if you want to support a creator, support their Patreon or something. But on YouTube especially, ads are more of a thing. So if you really appreciate someone's videos, even if the ad isn't related, you should still watch them. You don't have to. But if you actually like the content you're watching, that's the one where you can kick back to the creator on YouTube. Yeah, Twitch is bad about that. Twitch plays the same ad over and over, and Twitch ads are rough. YouTube ads, you can at least skip them. That's a quote, Game God. There we go, finally. Nope, I screwed that up. <laughs> solo hunting tonight? Yeah. We've been solo hunting for a few weeks now at this point. I kind of decided that I kind of want to wait. We'll probably do, we'll do a high rank multiplayer night sometime soon. I just don't want to have to police people's gear that much. That's just not very, like, I feel badly asking people to gear down, and I feel badly, like, having to look the whole night to be like, is this person wearing gear from too far ahead in the game? Am I going to get spoiled on some armor pieces right now? Like, I don't know. Earlier on in high rank, I didn't want to do a multiplayer night because all we would be able to do in high rank was like, hey, I hope y'all are down to just hunt Arzuros and the Golem Bee the whole night because that's all we've got. <laughs> now that we've gotten more monsters, I still think we could do a, we could do a multiplayer night sometime soon. I just, I'd feel bad policing everybody. We'll, so we'll do one eventually though. I actually don't know anything about the Lightning Dragon Dragon game, so try and try and be careful. I'm only in HR6, so I'm I'm even I'm not even as far as you. I haven't done the first Elder Dragon, much less the second one. I know it is too fog. I think that we would be set to do a high rank multiplayer night now in terms of content. I just don't want to have to police everybody all night long and like worried about getting spoiled spoiled. Hey Arcane. Dude, Mafu Mofu Pog. How you doing, Arcane? 
Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the plan. It's probably doing it once I've gotten through all the spoiler stuff. Something like that. Did not know how far you were. Well, that's okay. I know most people aren't still looking out for spoilers. Just trying to talk about, talk about monsters I haven't fought yet. That's all. I fought the new monsters for HR6, but I haven't fought the first Elder Dragon yet. So I'm a little I'm a little behind you where you're at. <laughs> well, welcome to your first stream, Arcane. Hope you like it so far. It's not, Skippy. They're just joking. Arcane is a big jokester. once he staggers with it. It seems like it might. so much. Dude, Spiral Thrust, amazing. Holy crap. Such a mobile option. Wow. I thought that, it, like, you thought that Lance couldn't get any more mobile in 5th gen, and then they give you that. Crazy. I really, really like how, how Spiral Slash interacts with that freaking projectile. Holy crap, feels so good. A counter where you're, a counter where you're then able to dash in two different directions with an 100, like with a, with a powerful finisher at the end of it is just crazy. Really crazy. I wish I'd gotten a better angle at that. That was cool. Aerial tail cut. Oh, 
Whoop. You need to get a little bit better at aiming that whole thing. Whoop. There it is. The nice, the only nice thing about that lunge is that its hitbox is not super, super huge. It's it's decently fair for that lunge. It's easy to roll around the arms. That's the only saving grace of that move. Zeus, welcome. You low rank, we are in high rank currently. We're in HR6, so I'm not at the end of the game yet. I have not fought any of the Elder Dragons yet or anything like that. But we're taking a long time to practice all the weapons and collect a lot of gear. That's where we're at right now. How effective are elemental bowmen's in this game? I'm not sure, Arcane. I think they're decent. It depends on the matchup. I think on the matchups where there's like they're quite elemental weak, they're gonna be really strong, but on ones that are less so, it might just be okay. Raw would be a little bit better. Which is kind of the the case it's always been. That's what I would imagine the balancing's like. What's up, guys? Are you running three? Yeah. Yep, three. Yeah, it was fun at the end of the game what you could do with the Amatsu, not Amatsu, but, um, well, the Amatsu Bowgun and the Alatrian set. Fun stuff you could do with that. With, um, elemental Light Bowgun. Fun how it stacked. Let's get that tail. We, we worked for it, too. How would a 100% speedrun like Death Dark does for Freeman Knight do for Rise, do you think? Like, okay, you need to refresh my memory on what Death Stark's 100% run is. It's essentially a segmented run through the entire game from the first quest to the final, final boss as quickly as possible over a couple streams, over a couple days, right? Or is it doing all quests in the game? What's 100% to Death Stark? I've, I've seen it. I've never fought one yet, but I've seen it. It's fine. You're good. You don't... Like I said, the only game you really need to worry about spoilers or talking about things for is this game, because it's new. The other games, I pretty much know what all the monsters are. Every quest? How would it... I mean, it would be it'd be fun. It would be a unique way of playing the game. I don't think anyone's done it like that part. I think it's a, that's a really unique way of playing the game anyways. There aren't that many people who do segmented runs like that. Like, they're working on runs over several days. <clears throat> That move is so strong. Hey, Ken. What's your main? Um, I would have to say like sword and shield Hades, but I play all I play all the different weapons. And a lot of the time I let chat choose choose my weapon. I guess if anyone's new to the stream, how we usually play is we, we clear all the quests in order. We collect a lot of gear at each rank. So as we go, we kind of collect things at the appropriate level we're at. And pretty much most of the time as we go, I let chat choose the weapon. Someone chose Lance earlier and I felt pretty rough with Lance, so I'm doing some practice with Lance. I'm feeling a little better now. So I know at least a bit about each of the weapons. I wouldn't say I'm good with all of them. <laughs> Just getting there. Oops. Whoops. Wrong one. Hmm. I want to iframe that swipe move so bad.
Very off, you suck. <laughs> that, okay, Vio, actually, I have more problems with that move than I have with, with I have more problems with that combo than I do with the, with the instant lunge. With the wind pressure into that big move. Alright, see you, Dragon James. Nice to stop. Nice to see you stop by for a little while. I hope you're having fun with Rise, and good luck with finishing out the game. Spiros taking a little while. Oops. Can't see crap in here. Whoops. There we go. Do you think a run like that for Rise would be palatable for a lot more people? More people than your free me night run? Oh yeah. More palatable than other types of runs? I don't know. I think people will enjoy any kind of I think okay, maybe not any kind of. There are limits, but I think people will I think people will enjoy any kind of unique gameplay that is like decently relatable while also being interesting to watch. So I think sure, if, you're, if your goal is to say, I want to beat all the quests as quickly as possible over the course of a couple nights, and I want to do that over and over, I want to do that a couple times with different weapons, I think people would like that, I think people would find that interesting for sure. That's a unique way of playing the games, undoubtedly. Does that land swipe do high damage? It does, yeah. It charges up arcane, like the, the uncharged one is kind of like third gen where it's just like, it doesn't do much damage. But you can charge it up, and it does pretty nice damage. It does about the same as two or three pokes. So if you can fit a couple of them into a poke combo, it's it's decent damage when the monster's down. A quest, a, a run can where you do all the quests in the game as soon as you can, as quickly as you can. Who's here? Oh gosh. I should probably watch out, shouldn't I? Does it do high damage in portable third? No, in portable third, it's about the same as one poke. It's all you can only do the uncharged version in portable third. And it's about the same as one poke, and it's slower. It's nice for crowd control in the older games, or if you're out of position, if you're like kind of a little off to the left or the right of a monster, and you think, well, I can't, I can't really do anything else besides just kind of get in one more little hit. I use, I like using it for that in the old games, but in this game, it's actually decent for damage if you have the opening for it. Like, ideally, in the older games, you would probably never use it, because you'd always be in position, and you'd never be doing crowd control, you'd just be going after one monster, but... I like using it. So at the end of this combo here, I'm gonna go ahead. Whoops, I did that too softly. At the end of this combo here, I'm just gonna throw one in here, just just cause. And I missed that timing. And that timing. <laughs> there we go. That was a long quest. That still felt comfier to me than the other very off matchups I've had, but it was a long quest. I can see why. That's not that much fire, and that's not that much raw. For where we're at in the game right now. 
It's also very effective at tripping big teammates. Big teammates? Or just tripping teammates? It shouldn't be on my end, Ken. I don't think so. It's pretty good raw. The swipe? It is, yeah. This raw right here? I think most of my raws right now, Vio, are up around 200. So 175. I mean, this is after my this is after my set. 150 is pretty low for like mid to, mid to late high rank for me. I think 180ish is pretty high for me. That's low right now. I'm trying to have most of my weapons be around 200. But I mean, like 20 minutes also isn't that long or 25. That was after the set boost and bludgeoner and something else too. Maybe one of the fish. That was a fun matchup, though. That's the first time I've had fun with Hot Rink Barry off, so that's something. <laughs> Alright, I'm feeling like we did some good Lance practice. We'll do some more Lance sometime soon when people request it, but for now, I'll let you guys choose my weapon for something else.